stuff. Manpreet right. Kaur already has to find £120 a month for gas and electricity for the one-bedroom flat she shares with daughter Legacy and her partner in Birmingham. Come April, the much higher price cap means she'll probably have to put an extra £50 a month on the metre. Having fallen behind on her bills before, British Gas's Energy Trust helped her with debt advice. Manpreet scared she'll go into the red again. With the increase now um, in terms of bills as well, um, it just makes me just overwhelmed in that position because I'm thinking, oh my God, everything's increased in price, food, gas, electric, and then it leaves me in a position where I could be in my overdraft, which again is another concern. It's a massive stress, um, it causes arguments as well, obviously, between yourself and your partner. On the 1st of April, annual energy bills will rocket as the price cap jumps by £693, a record 54%. People who pay for gas and electricity by direct debit will watch bills typically rise to just under £2,000. More than 4 million prepayment customers whose bills are already more expensive will be charged over £2,000 a year. The Chancellor's measures will see four in five households get a £350 rebate on energy bills and council tax, but some of the poorest families' homes won't qualify for the council tax discount. And analysis by the Resolution Foundation predicts, even after government help, five million families in England, double the number now, will suffer what's called fuel stress, spending more than a tenth of their income on energy bills. In Ipswich, Ruth Godfrey is going through treatment for breast cancer. She should be keeping her home warm, but she can't afford to. It's Living alone, like there's no one to share the cost of rising bills with. Um, during the daytime, I don't put the heating on. So if I'm sedentary, then I have my hot water bottle. According to Macmillan Cancer Support, one in six people have to spend more on energy after diagnosis, around £100 a month more. Home is supposed to be your cosy space. Even when it's so cold that it's painful. Sorry. I, I remember just feeling so, so cold and so disappointed. And also uh, the Salvation Army stepped in as well and they delivered me some electric heaters so that I had some heating at one point. Do you worry that the cold is going to affect your recovery from cancer? I think it definitely does. And just things like it's so cold in the bathroom when you're going through this. It's absolutely perishing. That you just feel like I, I, just to actually get in there is hard work. And then when you're recovering from things like chemo and radiotherapy, it's exhausting. You are just constantly battling that. You can't even have little comforts in life. The Chancellor says he's taken the sting out of the rise in bills, but people will still have to find around £300 extra themselves. Another money worry and more sleepless nights in millions of homes.